It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we got a beer from Ostman Brewery out in Norway and it's a bottle of the Hummeldug IPA coming in at 6.5% ABV. There's a look at the label. Nice green label with what looks like an eye at the middle there. Uh, it's a nice green bottle cap with the words Ostman on the top. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Many thanks again to Hells for sending. I do love trying different beers. Wow, look at that. Here she goes. Boop, boop. <laughs> yes, thank you to Hells. Um, without Hells' continued support, I wouldn't be able to try these fantastic Norwegian craft beers. Been enjoying lots of beers from Kin. Acti Brewery. Acti Brewery. What am I talking about? Ludwig Acti Brewery. And a lot of the other Seven Shell Brewery. Brilliant beers. And now this. Yeah. Um, Ostman Brewery from Norway. So, IPA in the glass. Nice carbonation. Nice amber. Slightly hazy coloured ale with a two finger slightly off white head. Let's get the aroma. Hmm. And it's big and it's hoppy. And I'm pretty sure the brewer doesn't mind me saying this, but I've just reviewed the Alchemist Focal Banger, which is a lot of people think, or certain people think it's one of the best IPAs in the world. So to actually pick up a fantastic aroma from this beer is an absolute compliment to this brewery. It's nice and sweet, it's nice and malty. Fantastic aromatic hoppy aroma. Grapefruity, a little bit of pineapple. It smells wonderful. You're almost getting that Bitterness and sweetness, you get that sweetness in the aroma and you're picking up that grapefruit and that pineapple and that pine which suggests bitterness. You're almost getting that balance in the aroma which is great. I'm going to dive in. Cheers everyone. Yeah, and fair play. Fair play, yeah, it, it, it's holding its own marvel marvellously well. It's it's fantastically hoppy. It's got a great bitter finish to the beer. A really great bitter finish on the beer. It's got to be about 70 plus IBUs. That's international bitter in units. And you get a nice soft water quality to the beer. Loving the water quality. It's soft. It's it's refreshing. It's juicy. It's nicely. It's a nicely carbonated beer. I love that grapefruit. Love that pine. Love that citrus. Love that slightly sweet and spicy feel to the beer and taste. It's a very good beer. Very good beer. Very impressed by that bitterness on the back end. Great. Is it a bottle conditioned beer? Let's have a look. Oh yes, look at that. Now don't be afraid if you see bits and pieces like that floating around in your glass of beer. It's full of vitamin D. It's very healthy for you. It might look a little bit mucky. If you don't want that in your beer, leave the last 10 millimeters in, in the bottle. So that's just me kind of showing you the difference between quite a clear looking beer and then a bottle and then all of the yeast in the glass there. And I do that in case you buy a bottle of this beer by accident and you end up pouring it all in because you're none the wiser. 
and you end up thinking, oh my goodness, the beer's gone off and you throw it away. Don't throw it away, it's fine, there's nothing wrong with it. So the head, the, the head retention is great on the beer. Lovely lacing on the glass, look at that. Slightly peppery, lovely sweet beginning. Wonderful, wonderful piney, citrusy, fantastic kind of earthy. There's an earthiness to it, but then it goes back to being citrusy and, and, and peachy and almost a little bit plummy in there. There's a smallest amount of um, licorice in it as well, which is like a spicy white pepper mixed with a tad of, of, of licorice, just a small amount. But it's a lovely, a lovely beer from a brewery that is new to me. I love coming across new breweries. So Brewery Osman or Osman Brewery and it's their Hummel Dug IPA. Uh, please go out and try it if you can, if you're watching from Norway. And if you ever see this beer in the UK, try it. Or wherever you are in the world, if you see it, try it. Rating. Again, I mentioned it one more time. Um, it's fantastic that it's kind of held its own against Focal Banger from the Alchemist Brewery. Um, it's a wonderfully hoppy, sweet, caramel, balanced beer. It's a, it's a lovely beer. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Thank you to Hells for sending. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.